Hey everybody, this is Toy Game and Junkie. I want to welcome you all back to my channel. So for this video, I want to give a shout out to um, the person who actually is responsible for me making this video, called Satus78. And this person left a comment on when I uploaded um, that video with the sneak peek of issue 15 and me going over my theories. This person put, I think the last pick is of Chloe in first timeline. She's got Max's hoodie on her waist, Tristan at door, oh so Chloe's hair is a bit longer. And if we take a look at the last image of the sneak peek that I showed you, um, it actually makes a lot of sense when you compare when you compare the, these two Chloe's together. And there's also other evidence to support this, but let's just start off start off at the beginning and then work our way through a list of reasons why this Chloe is the original Chloe from the Dust timeline and not the ones from the Waves and Strings timeline. Okay, so if we look back at issue 12 at the end, in case any of you, any of you forgot, um, Max, Chloe and Rachel were heading on that road trip with the high seas and they were heading to that town or where Chloe is. Now, Chloe, the Max is Chloe from the Dust Timeline. He's sitting at a bench, and she's writing these letters to Max. Well, you know, she really can't write them to anyone, but I guess they're more for her own benefit. So, as she's writing, it's assumed that Tristan approaches her. Like, it's implied. I'm pretty sure it is him, but it's never, like, shown. But it would make sense that it's him, because he was going to, he's gone to this new timeline, he was planning to go there with Max, and seeing that Max didn't make it over, he would of course, went, he, well, I'm sorry, getting tongue tied, he would of course try to seek out Chloe, and to let her know that her Max is coming back to her. And if you take a good look at the jumper that Chloe's wearing from the three screenshots I've just, I've just shown you, it looks identical to the one that she's wearing in issue 15, the sneak, the sneak peek. And this is like, okay, I cannot believe I missed this. I am such an idiot. So yeah, I'm going to have to read the comics again, you know, just to... Whenever there's a new sneak peek, I'm going to have to go back and look at the comics and see if there's anything that I missed. And speaking of things I missed, number two. Okay, now that photo that Chloe is looking at, I believe that that is the exact same photo, I, I, I am 100% sure now, that the photo that Chloe is looking at is the one that Max uses to go to enter the transit and go to the Waves and Strings timeline. Uh, because the photo is actually seen a few times, you see it in issue 1 when Max and Chloe are in the bathroom, this is before Max starts experiencing those time seizures and jumping between realities and it's also the photo that she uses to enter the transit and go to the waves and string strings timeline you know so I do believe that that is the same photo and if we compare the hair to to um, both Chloe's from Max's Chloe and Rachel's Chloe, the hair's different too. With the Dust Chloe, her hair is a little longer and a little bit more messier, whereas the, uh, the Waves and Strings Chloe, her hair is a little shorter and a little more cleaner, like more neatly done together. So really that's all I wanted to say. Uh, I want, to let, I want to know all your thoughts in the comments below, and before I end this, I'm just going to bring up another thing here, which was so stupid of me to have missed. Um, as you uh, all know, Max, Chloe, and Rachel are going on the road trip in Gladys, the mini, the minivan, and that's how they get. That's how they're going to get to this beach area, and how Max is going to be able to reunite with her Chloe. And what's stupid is. Okay, I cannot believe I missed this as well, because it's one of the obvious thing that, things that stares you in the face, is the fact that Max, Chloe, and Rachel are sleeping inside Gladys, and that's 
and that's like okay yeah so they don't have to pay for rent so why would Chloe be paying for a room if they have a room inside Gladys you know if they have a place to sleep and then it's like oh no that's not the waves and string Chloe it's the dust Chloe who's paying for a room and she's most likely sharing it with Tristan so it's like oh okay well that's another I'm such an idiot I did not even see that until now so so yeah that's all I wanted to cover in this video uh, let me know all your thoughts and comments below and once again I want to give a big thanks to Satsu78 I don't know if I'm saying that right but uh, thanks again for letting me know and be sure to leave this person a thanks in the comments below because this video wouldn't have happened if that person hadn't, hadn't left a comment. This is Total Gamer Junkie, signing off.